Hey guys, Hells First here, and I want to talk about one of my favorite characters in the game, Chi Chi here. She is a little zombie that knows how to dominate with a sword, and I literally just beat the shit out of Child in the boss mode like he was absolutely nothing. So I want to show you what I'm using to make this happen. First and foremost, she's level 80, and her weapon is level 80. Uh, I've got her attack at 1656, which is not the highest for a level 80. That's because we're using something else to do this DPS. So we're going to go into details. First and foremost, as you can see, I've got a 43.5% crit rate. And then on top of that, 56.2% crit damage. No one cares about the healing bonus, but it's there. And energy recharge, about 120%. So none of that looks too impressive. Until I scroll down here, and you see 83.3% physical damage bonus. Which makes her do a shitload of damage. So, the way we get there is through the artifacts. I'm running the Bloodstained Chivalry, which gives you... Physical damage, plus 25% for the two-piece set, as well as Gladiator's Finale for the two-piece set for attack plus 18%. And let me show you how I have them rolled. Now, they're not perfect. They could be better, but this is the start to a fantastic build. Obviously, the flower, I don't care about. I could put more into it, make her a little more tanky, but, you know, we'll look at that later. But that's got one of the pieces of the Bloodstained Chivalry on it. Then we look at the flower. I've got the other piece of Bloodstained Chivalry. And this is a attack at 209% with shit stats. But it's the attack. Then we've got 34.8% attack boost and Gladiator's Finale. Once again, shit stats, except for the attack. And then uh, here's the big piece. Gladiator's Intoxication. With a physical damage bonus of 58%. 0.3%, crit rate plus 7.4%, and attack plus 35%. And now defense on her, it doesn't do anything, but the fact that I'm using her as a one-man tank, just slaughtering everything in her path, doesn't, doesn't hurt. Then we've got this master bastard right here, the Summer Night's Mask, the Retracing Bolide set, which does nothing for her, but we're only using it for the stats. Crit rate 31.1%. I'll say that again. 31.1% crit rate. Just nuts. Uh, crit damage, 6.2%. And attack, 33. So, she's pretty amazing with those. She could be better. But now, let's go to the weapon. I've got a triple refined flute. Which gives you attack on top of attack. Also, if you don't know what the flute is, it has what's called chord. Normal or charged attacks grant a harmonic on hits. Gaining five harmonics triggers the power of music and deals 150% attack damage to surrounding enemies. Harmonics last up to 30 seconds and a maximum of one can be gained every 0.5 seconds. So essentially, every 30 seconds, you're blasting 150% attack damage to everything around you. This is beyond busted. And I think it's super fun. Her talents, I don't have them leveled up as I'd like to either. So I got this one sitting at five, but we've got a child in here. He's helping us out with uh, the plus one. But the solo I did had nobody else in the party. Um, her Herald of Frost, weak. It's only at two. And her Preserver of Fortune is also weak. It's at level three. So I have plenty of room to improve this. I just need to go ahead and do it, you know? So this is how I was able to solo a child. As you can see, this character could become way more powerful and do a much better job of just dominating. But the easiest way to solo anything with this character 
is to alternate between two skills. You've got this one, a glimpse into Arcanium, and it's when Kiki hits enemies with her normal and charged attacks, she has a 50% chance to apply a fortune preserving talisman for six seconds. This effect can occur once every 30 seconds. So what this does is the talisman, every time you hit, heals you. So you stay alive that way, and then you wait till that's gone. Maybe get two or three hits in, wait until they try and hit you. If they do hit you, switch over, use Adept of Zart, Herald of Frost. On hit, Kiki's normal and charged attacks regenerate HP for your own party members and nearby teammates. Healing skills based on Kiki's attack periodically regenerates your active character's HP. Follows the character around, dealing cryo damage to its opponents in their path. So this is really cool because it heals you almost every time you hit. And then it's doing a little more damage every time it spins around and smacks them in the face. But it's for the healing. So you bounce between these two and you can literally stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Child like I just did. Or any boss. Any boss. It doesn't matter. I literally stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Devalon's foot while the Whirlwind was on top of me with Herald of Frost active and did not die. Just kept fighting through it. It is broken what this character can do and it can only be improved upon. But I wanted to show you this and show you the build behind it because it surprised the hell out of me. And I'm still playing around with it and I'm sure I can make her better. So if you liked the video, Please drop me a like and subscribe, as well as, you know, turn on that bell for notifications so you can see more videos like this one. And thanks for hanging out, watching my video. And as always, until next time, ta-ta.